Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Cisco, and I'm gonna be talking about Mirthwood. It's developed by Bad Ridge Games, an indie developer. Mirthwood is an RPG life sim which takes place in a medieval setting. I played this on PC with a 3080 and a Ryzen 9. I've had this game on my wish list, and when I saw that they had a free demo to try, I decided to check it out and give you guys my thoughts. What interested me about this game is that it was going to be like Stardew Valley with better graphics. Mirthwood has farming, role-playing, romance, and medieval combat. And even though these paper pixel graphics aren't my cup of tea, I'm always on the lookout for a good game. And so here we are. You start off creating your character and it does have a decent amount of options, but it's not enough to really make this an exciting and immersive RPG experience, but it's there. Especially when you're wearing a helmet and can't see your face anyway, it kind of just makes the creating process a bit pointless. The game uses a card system UI to display its different origins and classes for you to pick. This card system will also be used in conversations that you have with people in town and people that you meet. It's actually a nice change of pace and very fitting for the art style that this game is going for. Again, the graphics are like Paper Mario and somewhat pixel, but it's one of the nicer ones that I've played. The details around the world with fog, buildings, create a nice immersive vibe. I genuinely wouldn't mind exploring more of it. I didn't have any performance issues while I was playing in 4K Ultra. There were some character models where the animations weren't playing, so they would skid around the map and not really show the walking animation. As for the story, in the demo, you start off creating a character as you're fleeing a continent swept with war. Your arrival in a new land provides a fresh start. You get on a horse which takes you to your new shack and sleeping bag on the ground, and you proceed to explore. This does have a narrator in cinematics, but most of the dialogue is read-only. Especially if you're in town or you're just talking to people, it's all just read-only. And I've played good games like Trails of Cold Steel, so I'm open to it, but that's something to be aware of if you're considering getting the game. The romance is there, although I didn't really try it, but I did get hit on by a guy, so I was like, no thanks, I'm out. <laughs> and I just went on to try out the other mechanics in the game. Overall, conversations, they're like The Sims. You'll talk to them and you'll see a plus sign and you'll see a minus sign if they don't like it. There'll be like a sad face if they didn't like what you said. And eventually it will say like, hey, this person's tired of talking and hates talking with people. Or it will say, this person is literally just tired of talking to you. So I guess you go to sleep and try another day. But again, as you're like walking around, you don't understand what people are saying and when you walk to a character you have the option to greet and they'll greet you happily and there's also an option to talk which will bring up the cards and there's so many options to have whether it's like romance or influencing people or asking about gossip or just making jokes um, it's a nice little change of pace it's different but again it fits the art style and I didn't try them all but it's actually interesting so I would actually like to spend more time in the game just to see if all those choices really make a difference. So to wrap it up, Mirthwood does offer a quaint escape into a medieval fantasy life sim that echoes the charm of games like Stardew Valley, but with a unique twist in its art style and gameplay mechanics. Overall, if you're looking for a game where you can escape into farming, role-playing, and a bit of medieval action without needing cutting-edge graphics or a complex combat at an affordable price, it's worth keeping an eye on, especially if future updates expand on its promising features. So that's the video. Thank you for joining me in exploring Mirthwood. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos like these. I also reviewed Dragon Age The Veil Guard and Capcom's Monster Hunter Wilds. So check those out. Again, thanks for being here. And until next time, happy gaming.